Spearhead. Yeah, I'm yelling. Can I use my phone? <laughs> Here we go. We're ready? Yes. What a beautiful day, amen? Amen. amen. Just a great day to be alive. I better turn glasses up. I don't know where I'm at. Are we good? Yeah. Okay. Um, a, a lot of neat things that we're going to talk about at the end of the service. Uh, uh, just a couple of cool announcements and everything that we want to share with you. But uh, uh, we will get there. I promise you. Just bear with me. Um, uh, next Sunday, this is important for you to know. Next Sunday, now David's not here today, but he still has the group coming, right? I'm going to be on an Emmaus walk serving, and uh, there's going to be a special group coming to do a concert next Sunday morning. And um, I believe David still needs help with housing, or Joe. Is that not correct? I don't know if you said okay. Uh, if there's some, I think there's about five people. Yes. He's a in Parsage. Okay, 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 cool things, all right. So that's taken care of. That'll be a cool thing coming up. And now, Rise has a, oh, this one. <laughs> Rise has a special announcement to make as well. Uh, so, so you'll be hearing all that here in just a little bit, okay? Uh, then this morning, um, we've been going through this series of kind of like the end of times and things like that. We've covered several different aspects of that. Um, in, in following, after next week's sermon, where we go beyond that is still up in the air. If you have a sermon series or a sermon, something you'd like to hear about, a passage of scripture or something like that, let me know, and I'll be glad to, to do my best to, to prepare a sermon on it. Um, otherwise, I'm just going to follow the Spirit's lead and, and see where we go from that point. But I'll keep you aware of that. I've been thinking about it, and, and uh, it just hasn't come to exactly what I want to do yet or, or where God wants to take it. Um, however, today, today, uh, we're going to be talking about the Word, the Word on the books. Um, and and what the, I'm basically I'm saying what the what the Bible has to say about the books. There are basically two books that are mentioned in the Book of Revelation and other places in Scripture. Each time it refers to them, and you have to pay attention uh, to which is which. And we're going to learn about them and see uh, what the deal is and how they come into play in the Book of Revelation. So we will begin with uh, turning to Revelation chapter 20 and reading verses 11 to 15, and this is where both books are mentioned. Revelation chapter 20, verses 11 to 15. This is John writing. Then I saw a great white throne, and him who was seated on it. Earth and sky fled from his presence, and there was no place for them. And I saw the dead, great and small, standing before the throne, and books, plural, were opened. Another book, singular, was opened, which is the book of life. The dead were judged according to what they had done as recorded in the books, plural. The sea gave up the dead that were in it, and death and Hades gave up the dead that were in them, and each person was judged according to what he had done. Then death and Hades were thrown into the lake of fire. The lake of fire is the second death. If anyone's name was not found written in the book, singular, of life, he was thrown into the lake of fire. So you see, if you look at your bulletin, there are two main books mentioned there. And if you pay attention to what I was talking about between the singular and plural, you're going to realize there's at least two books of deeds. Two books of deeds. And it always refers to the book of life in the singular. In the singular. How many books does God need to record everything? I don't know. Uh, apparently he uses two. The books, plural, of deeds are where all of our actions and according to what Jesus said, even our thoughts are recorded there in the book of deeds. The book of life. The book of life is where our names are written upon our conception and they are intended by God to remain there through the protection, the mercy, the forgiveness, the grace, and the blood of Jesus. The book of deeds is an exact record of of everything that we have said and done according to Jesus, every careless word that comes out of our mouth. So that means that everything we sang this morning, if it was some sort of promise or, or an act of obedience or praise or something to God, we're held accountable for it. If when we come up here for communion and everything like that and our sound of prayer time, if we just say things that feel kind of churchy and sound okay in the minute, we're held accountable for them. 
Everything we say is recorded. It is recorded accurately. Bill Cosby used to do a routine where a man died and he was standing before God and God was looking at the, the book of deeds and, and uh, he said, it says here that you said you didn't believe in God. I never said that. I said, right here, your name is Bill Cosby and I got it here, Bill Cosby. It says on August the 15th, 1968, you said you didn't believe in God, did you? I didn't say that. Bill, it's written right here. Well, whoever wrote it is a well, I didn't say that, man. <laughs> no, it's recorded valid. It's recorded accurately. It is recorded verbatim. It's recorded perfectly. It's God's book of deeds, and he does not make mistakes. Never, ever, in any situation has God ever said, oops. 